when hearing people speak about history, one might hear people say, oh, our ancestors weren't as progressive as us, or this person was progressive for their society, or this society was more progressive than that society. But this modern way of looking at history is not a very effective method. When one looks at history, one is trying to understand the people of the past, trying to understand our ancestors. One wants to see what did they do, how did they do it, why did they do it, what were their beliefs, why did they have those beliefs, why did they think that way, what were the reasons behind their actions. We want to understand them more, so maybe by that we might understand ourselves more. If we judge them by our own ideas, and our own ideals, and our own understanding, we are judging them falsely. As that's not the understanding they had, and we will misunderstand them. We might completely misunderstand the reasons behind their actions. An example of this is if we look at the era of women's suffrage during the late 19th and early 20th century. There were, of course, people who supported women's suffrage and were against it. And now we might think that all those against women's suffrage would have been those who thought of women as less, but that is not the case. There were even women who were against women's suffrage, like Queen Victoria of England. And now these individuals who were against women's suffrage but did not think of women as less, their reasoning behind it was they thought if the goals of women's suffrage went forward, that such actions would lead to men thinking that they didn't need to take care of their wives or help their wives, and that they would leave their families, leaving a bunch of single mothers to raise families alone, and that would be bad for society, so they were against it for those reasons. Now there were those who did have views, like one might assume, but not all were that way, but we misunderstand their actions by interpreting them by our understanding of today. Now other problems that come with this modern way of looking at history is that is viewing history as a progression. But history is not a progression. You don't have societies constantly progressing along a course, constantly getting improvements and along that course. No society has ebbs and flows. They go backwards, they go forwards, they go sideways, they jump to a completely different course. Let's say if we look at history as a progression of governmental forms, well, we might assume that governments progress from tyrannical monarchies to very open democracies, but that's not the case. Many early Bronze Age Mesopotamian cities, those are the first civilizations that we know of, were democracies. But as struggles between the cities arose, they elected military leaders that eventually gained more and more power and became kings. There we have a drop in, from democracy to kingdoms, and even you can see that as a microcosm in the Rome, where Rome began as a kingdom rose into a republic, became an empire, and then again became a kingdom. Now, also you may think, well, maybe there's other progressions. Like often people say that everyone of the past was sexist, that they viewed women as less, but that's not the case. It appears that the Minoan civilization of the Bronze Age was probably ruled by women. It probably was ruled by some type of matriarchal government. All the prime deities were women. Women were depicted larger in art, as would be a sign of showing them as greater. And there's all these signs that that's how they were ruled. And there many societies either had co-regencies of a male and female ruler, or were led by women in Africa or in Southeast Asia. It's not always a constant progression. History ebbs and changes and flows. And also, we want to understand who these people in the past were. So we need to judge them by their own life and see who they truly were. So maybe we might full, more fully understand ourselves. Also, maybe by opening up our eyes and allowing different views and understanding those views, even if we think they're horrible, by understanding them, maybe we might be able to communicate better with each other and work together and see where those that have different views in ourselves might be similar to ourselves then we might work with them, we might be unified, instead of ripping each other apart over every small and puny detail about how we view things. So there, that's how you should view history, and maybe how you should view each other. Maybe things might change if we view things in that way. Like and subscribe.